Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your weekly update for NASDAQ. Overall price has continued within its consolidation as both Elliott Wave counts expect. Elliott Wave first, technical analysis last. On the main bullish weekly chart, price has increased overall with a slight increase this week after price has found support at this Elliott channel here. This Elliott channel is redrawn from last week using Elliott's second technique, drawing a line from the end of Intermediate Wave 2 to the end of Intermediate Wave 4 with a parallel copy on the end of Intermediate Wave 3. Intermediate Wave 4 has been labelled complete at this low, with price now expected to increase for Intermediate Wave 5 within Primary Wave 1. If Intermediate Wave 4 does continue any lower, then it cannot move into Intermediate Wave 1 price territory at 11210.38, and above that, within Primary Wave 1, no second wave corrective movement can move below its start at 10092.94. Intermediate Wave 5 and Primary Wave 1 are expected to find resistance at the upper edge of this Elliott channel. Intermediate Wave 5 has a target calculated to reach equality in length with Intermediate Wave 3 at 17202. For the bigger picture, Cycle Wave 5 within Super Cycle Wave 1 is expected to pull price higher for the long term. On the main daily chart, we can see a bit more detail for Intermediate Wave 4, subdividing as a complete single zigzag. An Elliott channel is drawn around the minor movements within Intermediate Wave 4 from the beginning of Minor Wave A to the end of Minor Wave B, with a copy on the end of Minor Wave A. Minor Wave C and Intermediate Wave 4 fell just short of support here, and if we see a break to the upside of this channel, we will have confidence that Intermediate Wave 4 is over at this low, and Intermediate Wave 5 and the end of Primary Wave 1 are expected to then pull price higher. On the alternate weekly chart, this wave count sees Cycle Wave 4 incomplete, currently within Primary Wave X of a double zigzag or double combination. Within that, Intermediate Wave C is expected to pull price higher, with Minor Wave 4 labelled complete at this low. An Elliott channel is drawn using Elliott's second technique from the end of Minor Wave 2 to the end of Minor Wave 4, with a parallel copy on the end of Minor Wave 3. We can see price found support just after Minor Wave 4 was complete here, and is now expected to increase where Minor Wave 5 may find resistance at the upper edge of this channel. Intermediate Wave C has a target calculated at 14326, the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of Intermediate Wave A. And once Primary Wave X is labelled complete, Cycle Wave 4 is expected to pull price lower for Primary Wave Y. If Minor Wave 4 does continue any lower, it cannot move into Minor Wave 1 price territory at 11210.38, and once Primary Wave X is labelled complete, a low below 12269.55 will add confidence to this wave count as it is the invalidation for the main bullish wave count. And on the daily chart, with the end of Minute Wave 2 within Minor Wave 3, just over here, we can see more detail for Minor Wave 4 and Elliott Channel drawn around the minute degrees within Minor Wave 4, from the beginning of Minute Wave W to the end of Minute Wave X, with a copy on the end of Minute Wave W. The end of Minute Wave Y and Minor Wave 4 fell just short of support, and if we see a break to the upside of this channel, we will have confidence that Minor Wave 4 is over at this low, and Minor Wave 5, Intermediate Wave C, and the end of Primary Wave X are then expected to pull price higher. On this wave count, minor wave 4 subdivides as a double zigzag, as opposed to the main bullish count where it subdivides as a single zigzag. On the technical weekly chart, price consolidates with declining range and overall declining volume. On balance, volume continues in a range with no signal. ADX is declining, showing no clear trend with RSI and money flow both neutral. Stochastics is neutral, just failing to enter oversold. Stochastics failing to enter oversold where price failed to reach support at 12500. An upward swing may occur soon towards resistance at 14250. And on the technical daily chart, price has increased past support at 13300 with overall declining volume apart from this options expiry noted here. There was a slight push from volume as price moved through support with a bullish engulfing pattern. The volume does continue to overall decline. On balance volume has broken out of resistance, giving a bullish signal. ADX currently declines with no clear trend, RSI and money flow both neutral and stochastics neutral and increasing. At this time frame, with stochastics returning from neutral and price moving through support at 13300, an upward swing may occur towards resistance at 13850. 
and on the NASDAQ AD chart, the AD line continues to make lower lows while price makes higher lows, continuing the long-term bearish divergence dating back to February 2023 and all the way back to 2009. That's all for me with your weekly update for NASDAQ. I hope everyone has a good week.